guys. So I'm jacking out here. I've got some more Fallout 4. In the last session, we got the teleporter for the Institute. And we're going to take it. Yeah. Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. Are you in or are you out? Make up your mind. Well, I'm ready to go. Oh, I'll catch into the thing. Dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning the for the signal. Cross your fingers. Me. I'm inputting could the code now. Our entire mission. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. All right, molecular level done. Solid tape in. Don't come in what it was called. What was that quest? Outside the wire from within. Institutionalized. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place. These people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. She was not with me. Decades of research, countless experiments and trial, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy, and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal. Son. 
not sure if it works. Only open for the key. Jammed. Just have to go through this door. Don't have the key. Whoa. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Really you? Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Those bastards, they took you from me. What's going on? Father? Father! What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here, help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. F923, recall code zero. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please, try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. This is insane. All of it. The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please, just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined let's see in it very far and suffered a great deal to find your son well your tenacity and dedication have been real it's good to finally meet you after all this time it's me i am sean i am your son I like how didn't play the subtitles to ruin it. Bullshit, is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth, think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant but a 10-year-old boy. You believed that 10 years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10, but 60 years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you, kidnapped you. Was it right? Right. Irrational. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of empathy. Human sense? Really? Human-like sense. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. 
but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. Limited, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human life since you see it today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you, you've been down here the whole time? I have, yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of it. Hmm. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad you see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just... Give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was, I've gone over the records of the Institute, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct... <laughs>